Pete, what's your um, immediate reaction to uh, the end of today's play? Oh, well, you're gutted, aren't you? At the end of a game like that, when you when you put your heart and soul into it and you and you don't get over the line, you, you're absolutely um, it, it, it rips your heart out in some ways. So there's no doubt about that. I think everybody in that dressing room will be will be hurting, you know, coaches and players included. But you know, I can't fault the, the effort the lads put in. We we had an absolute red hot go at it. Um, it was a great advert for four-day cricket, if I'm honest. Uh, great game going down to the wire, uh, and they got over the line. So we just got to. We're going to take it on the chin, no complaints, um, and then really, in the next day or two, start to get ourselves ready, really, to take on Worcester, Worcester in the next game. What impression did you get from um, the lads when they got back into the change room today of how the pitch was for a fourth day pitch? Yeah, there was no real. It, I think we saw yesterday a bit in our second innings that the pitch had changed quite a bit, as it as it would do. Credit to Steve Burks and his team; they produced a really good cricket pitch. Um, it's dried out a little bit. Um, Turn there, so quite challenging for left-handers because quite a lot of rough. But obviously, so Will Rhodes yesterday for them had a tough one against Liam Patterson White. But you know, and, you know, for Liam Patterson White there wasn't a lot there when he bowled to right-handers. Uh, lost a little bit of pace, but still carried. And we 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 hoped it'd be a little bit more uneven in bounce today. And to be fair, it played pretty well. We got a little bit more out of it right at the end. I think the last hour of play, we seemed to get the ball to do a little bit more. Stuart Broad today, 30 overs in the innings and a, a spell before lunch that'll live long in the memory. What have you made of his return to Nottinghamshire Colours? Well, he played like a test match for me in attitude and approach, and I can't ask for any more than that from any player. You know, his preparation, you know, he's bowled you know, nearly 50 overs in the game. He's given the absolute everything and led the attack. Um, and I think along with Dane Patterson, you know, they put a massive shift in today to try and get us over the line. And, you know, we got seven down and another day you get you get those last three wickets and suddenly you, you've got the win and all that effort feels worthwhile so that's just sport you've got to take it um it hurts there's no doubt about that that's part part of it um and in some ways over the next day you know it'll hurt a bit more maybe tomorrow morning and then dust yourself down at some, and then start get ready to play worcester away and dane as well for his uh, first game for knots uh, how excited are you about how he might be able to progress in the coming weeks and months as well i thought he got better and better in the game actually um he hasn't had a competitive game a, a first class game now for i say 30 to 40 months after having a long-term injury uh, i thought he got better he started to look like he just he was just settled back in you know settled into a good length uh, rhythm was really good so yeah you know i'm pleased for him i think he's come out you know uh, with six wickets, what we do know about him, he's got some character because for him and Stuart today, they had to really dig deep towards the end to keep running in hard in what became a very tight game. And to speak of character, there were spells throughout the game really, whether it was early wickets or, or partnerships from the Warwickshire batsmen that demanded character to, to come back into the game. So what does that say about the mentality of the group? For us, we've shown a lot of fight, I think, in, in both games um, to come back. We haven't fired as a top order. You know, so the top order be disappointed. You know, I don't think the first innings especially we haven't we haven't clicked yet. So that's something definite for, to to focus on going into the next game. But I think coming back from I think it was 119 for six, we came back and posted a competitive score, uh, and then they got off pretty well, and we managed to pick up the late order wickets quickly in the first innings. And the game the game sort of toed and froed a little bit all the way through the four days. And you know, we we started day three in a very strong position. Credit to them. They, they sort of clawed us back and kept one foothold in the game. And the, the wicket at the end of last night put us slightly ahead of the game. And then, you know, at the end, at lunchtime, it was probably back to even Stevens, I think. Uh, we get three quick ones after. We think we're in the pound seats. And then Stone and Bresden played really well. So that was a, it, it's what, what makes four day cricket what it is, really. It, it's hard work, hard to win them. Um, and you try and get the momentum at any stage and run with it when you've got it. And with some of those fight backs, uh, particularly with the back coming from some of the younger players, the likes of Lyndon James, Liam Patterson White, what do games like this one with all its ups and downs do for their maturity as first class cricketers? Oh, it's a great experience for them. I mean, it's just nice to see some of the lads. We've been working so hard, really, with everybody in the squad, but also those lads coming through and see a couple of the academy lads then get on the staff and start to then have an impact at first team level is great. You know, the way Liam Patterson White played in the first innings for his 70 odd showed great maturity really and he's, he's, a, he's a really talented player. I thought he bowled very well in the game as well. Uh, backing up what Lyndon had done the game before and Lyndon again played very solidly here, you know. So two really exciting cricketers coming through our system which is good to see. We know we've got others like Joey Everson that are pushing hard to get in that team and that's, that, that's a good thing for the club moving forward.